Hey everyone, welcome back to Halo Wars 2 Mythbusters. This is a series where we test out units in Halo Wars 2 and see what new things we can learn about the game. For this video today, we're going to be testing the Marauders and the Warthogs, the two, I'd say, the main vehicles, the Tech 2 vehicles for the Banished and the UNSC. Which one's better than the other? Let's go ahead and send them at each other with no upgrades, see which one comes out on top. And this test is actually fairly close, but it looks like the Marauder does win here. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting is the stun, uh, I guess you would call it a missile, uh, is a lot more effective than I originally thought. I thought that was pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the Warthogs to the Goss Cannon upgrade, and we'll try this test again. This test was very close as well, but it looks like the Warthog did end up coming on top, and I think that's because the extra damage to the Goss Cannon was the reason behind the victory. So with the Marauders, we'll get the Thick Hide upgrade, and we'll try it again. Now, this one was very, very close. I mean, within the the margin of error, almost, of how much health has left on that Marauder. But the Marauder did win. So we'll go ahead and get the vehicle upgrade for the Warthog and try it again. Interestingly enough, the Warthog lost again, and it even looks like the Marauder may have just a tiny bit of more health in this test than the previous one. Uh, I, I'm not really sure why. This could be because the stun of the Marauder was probably more well-timed. Maybe it was stunning the Warthog right before it would fire. But nonetheless, we can continue this test by upgrading the Warthogs, getting the second vehicle upgrade and try it again Thank you. 
Now this one was very, very close as well, but the Warthog came out on top. We'll test it again. We will have the Marauders get a vehicle upgrade and we'll come back. And it's kind of been a theme throughout this video, but we can see again, another close test that the Marauders came out on top. So I think what this is showing is the effectiveness of both of these vehicles is very, very similar on uh, how well they're against each other. But that's with a 1v1 test. Let's go ahead and expand this. We'll do a 5v5 test. Maybe this will show if a unit is more effective than the other in a group of units. I don't think it's all that surprising to see the Marauders win this one. I think the more Marauders there are, the more stunning will happen with those missiles, uh, and therefore will help out the whole entire group of Marauders take out the Warthog. So uh, this isn't all that surprising. It still is relatively close of a test, um, but I do think that um, the Marauders seem to be more effective in groups when taking on Warthogs. So uh, I, I found that to be pretty interesting on how similar these units behaved in terms of damaging each other. That was uh, quite cheddarful indeed. That's going to do it for this episode of Mythbusters. Thank you all so much for watching. There is a playlist with all of the Mythbusters episodes that we have done and will do, so check that out. If you want to join the Team Respawn Discord server, we're now a partner Discord server. There is a link to that in the video description. And finally, slap that subscribe button so you can get in the loop of all things Team Respawn. Alright, that does it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you, James.